propaganda and congratulations to Donald Trump for his victory. As you can see, not even better weather will stop me from doing videos. It was raining quite heavily this morning, but now it's okay, it's still a bit wet. But let's get to the actual topic. So Trump won the election. First of all, in my opinion, that's a good thing. And it's actually not really surprising what I saw on my Facebook feed and read on the news, like most people and most media, unfortunately, still going kind of, that's the end of the world. Well, basically that reminds me a lot of what was hitting the news after the Brexit vote or before the Swiss vote for the unconditional basic income or the vote in Greece and where I also see the same pattern on other let's say non-mainstream media popular decisions on votes is that they well, they play as if it would have already happened. I mean, okay, he got voted for, yeah, that's true. But is he from now on in power? And no, he's actually not. And same thing actually happened with the Brexit vote. Everyone was like, now the world is going down, of course. Well, you know, they left the EU now in the UK. Well, basically, no, it was just the vote and nothing happened so far. So in case of the US elections, it's pretty much the same. Of course, when he will enter office, uh, I think it was in February, if I read it correctly. So it's still nearly four months to go and in four months a lot of things can happen for example if I read that 300,000 NATO troops got now moved to the Russian border well in four months is in theory enough time for a war to start or anything where then what is it called? Martial law or anything would kick in in the US? Or else, well, what is even more famous? The Kennedy thing. I mean, what if something happens to Trump until February? So there are basically still chances that he won't get into office at all. I don't hope that this will happen, but there are the chances. So please don't act as if you would be in office already. Hmm. He's a bit misplaced over there, I think. Hmm. Well. <laughs> anyway. So you can either like Trump or not, and you can either like the outcome of the election or not and that's even valid argument saying like nah, and he will be a bad president or no I would have preferred Hillary and so on okay that, that are all valid arguments I would discuss on but what I've seen on certain Facebook posts or even media outlets saying that and where I not just totally disagree, but where I say uh, you don't have any valid point is when they claim that democracy has failed. No, the people went to vote, they voted for a candidate, and okay, you didn't like the outcome obviously then, but 
that's not the fault of democracy. And if I read in further comments like, yeah, if nowadays every stupid person can vote, that's not good, and so on. Um, sorry, but what you're saying basically is that you don't like democracy and that you would prefer what then? Uh, monarchy or dictatorship or course that are basically two examples where stupid people cannot vote so must be then your preferred option or what I was also reading is statements like Trump himself is a threat to democracy of course he won now ah, and it's raining Okay, anyway, of course, uh, he won now an election. I mean, assuming the election was not rigged or anything, so assuming the whole election process was legitimate and he won it. So, basically, a me pretty clear message to everyone saying that this is a threat to democracy or Trump himself is a threat to democracy no you people claiming that you are a threat to democracy of course not accepting the outcome of a democratic vote that's basically a threat to democracy of course that opens the doors for later people coming on saying like see i told you democracy doesn't work so let's better go for a nice dictatorship how about that what i basically will judge trump on if he is a good president or not for me if he sticks to what he said in the debates and during his rally, if he's really going to do that, then for me he is a good president. Regardless if I like what he stated or not, of course, if a politician before the election says something, what he's going to do and after the election really does it, that's my personal definition of a good politician, of course. That's what they should do, right? But well, only time will show if he's just another, let's say, normal politician who tells you a lot of bullshit before the election and then does all another thing after the election. Or if maybe he will really be different. And I actually hope for the later one, uh, even if I don't really believe that this is going to happen that way. I hope you liked the video, of course, this time I really managed to get it a bit shorter as usual. Uh, if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have anything to say about my opinion on that or if you agree or disagree or anything just put it down there in the comments and in the very unlikely case you still didn't subscribe yet press that little subscribe button and make this channel great again does that sound about right i think that sounds cool and i see you in the next video